If you're looking for healthier food choices, you do not have to travel far. Today we are visiting Blueberry Cafe, a healthy eatery located on Central Avenue in the West Ward. And it seems like the locals are loving what Blueberry Cafe is serving. is going to come up so this is like nice to see something different from the norm this is i like it I'm she said she loved this cafe she said it's amazing there's nowhere else in north that you're going to find this type of energy this type of food and when people eat a certain way they live a certain way i reside in in jersey city but I heard about this place and how uh, magnificent it is, how the food is, the environment is very tranquil. So I just decided to give it a chance. Come here for the healthy food, electrifying food to electrify my brain and my body. And I hope everyone around here sees the importance of doing so as well and feeding their families and carrying on this legacy of living. We are here with Rashina Burroughs, founder of Blueberry Cafe, and her partner, Janice Bernard. Welcome to Taste the North. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what are we making today? Vegan tuna on spelt toast. And just for you, Crystal, we have blue corn chips because we know you're gluten free. That's right. Thank you so much for that. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit about the ingredients that we have here. Okay. Okay. This is um, one of the sea vegetables. Well, yeah, sea vegetables. High a lot of minerals. Okay. Especially um, iodine. So it's good for the thyroid. Stuff okay. like that. Energy. Good for the okay. thyroid. And then we have the all famous walnut. Walnut. Yeah. Yep. Everybody knows the benefits of walnuts. Yeah, good fats. What are they? What are the benefits, just in case? It has you know, good healthy fats, you know, okay. omegas, stuff yep. like that. Yeah. All right, good. And your protein. And your protein, so you need like a nice little protein booster. Oh, yeah, good. Walnuts is it. Quinoa. Quinoa. I like iron. quinoa. Natural green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you say high in iron, right? High in natural iron, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, that has a little bit of a bitter taste, right? It depends uh, on how you prepare it. I don't really you don't taste wash it. Yeah. yeah, you have to wash it first. There's a um, thing on it that could give you that taste. I love quinoa because you can make anything with quinoa. Yeah. All types of different dishes. We have the purple onion, right. avocado, hemp yeah. seeds, pumpkin, pumpkin seeds. This is my little master mix seasoning mix it's here. Um, this is Roma tomatoes. Yeah. And these are why we use the Roma tomatoes. Oh, it's, it's no acidic. It's not acidic. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we use either the um, cherry or the plum, which they call the Roma tomatoes. It's the same thing, the plum tomatoes. Because basically, like the other tomatoes are. It's hybrid, it's highly acidic, affect your joints and all that. If you eat this, no problem. So not acidic? Yeah. This type so you of. You could eat absolutely. the cherry or the plum tomatoes. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we're, we're more of the alkaline yeah. diet here. So we don't serve high acidic foods. And yeah. where do you get your produce from? Um, well, we use local markets. Um, Local meaning maybe Manhattan, as mm -hmm. far as New York. Um, yeah, Whole Foods, you go to Whole Foods, uh, Trader Joe's, you know, when we're in a quick fast, but mainly we use the local markets. Okay, good, and good. And, distributors. and then now we're going to be working with our friend, and we're going to be growing our own vegetables. So everything's like organic. Everything. Yeah. Good. 100%. Okay. If it's not organic, it's wild. It's wild. Wild. Right natural from its natural yeah. native state. Yeah. Very important. Yes. Okay. Very, very so now what right. do we do first? So the first thing we do is we make the mayo because you know tuna has to have mayo right? right oh we forgot one ingredient coconut so, water oh uh, coconut water coconut now water. that's very healthy for you yeah, yeah high in mm -hmm. potassium and stuff like that mm -hmm. natural minerals give it a nice sweet taste okay yeah. so we're gonna mix that we're gonna put some walnuts in here i won't make too big of a batch nope. we already got so some over there we already got some over there Hemp seeds. The hemp seeds give me that mayo feel. Mm. Hemp seeds thicken anything. It's like okay. a, almost like a gravy thickener. And I like to add the pumpkin seeds. That's a sink right there. So 
it's good for prostate in the men, it's good for parasites. You know, everything has its, its own unique benefits. Now, where did you get these recipes from? You made it up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mostly everything here, we make it up, yeah. It's original. Because with these foods, you know, you have to find a way to make them taste good. Mm. And they're all on the long alkaline side. So I think that's it. Okay, so now you blend. So we're going to blend this up. I'll peek at this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're going to blend this on up. I speed on the Adding a little more. Yeah. Now, when did Blueberry Cafe open? We opened January 1st, okay. 2017. Right. So we're seven months old. And how did you two meet? Well, we met um, last year. We've only known each other a year. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this year. Um, I went to Kenneth. Um, Dennis was at, um, at Corona Health Food Store on South Orange Avenue. Yeah. Okay. And um, we needed uh, someone to come in and talk about the benefits of nutrition and alkaline versus acidic. Okay. And I went in there and I asked him, would he do it? I heard he was a little tough, that he wouldn't do it. <laughs> and he said it was certain things that I said, and he said yes. And we did the workshop and we just kept it moving ever since. Yeah. Yep. We thought it was a great connection. Good something we know that we combined, we could have did something great for the community. So what is your mission with Blueberry Cafe? To inspire wellness in the community. Now since you opened, has that mission like changed or evolved? Or? Evolved. It's yeah. amazing. Just it's amazing. absolutely amazing. Okay. Yes. So now what are we doing here? So now we're going to put the quinoa. Okay. Let's see. I got it. Is this like a specific type of quinoa? Well, this is or a tricolor. A tricolor yeah. quinoa? So that's mm -hmm. all, yeah, the red, the white. The red is a little hard to yeah. process quickly. So I'm going to take the mayo because now we actually have our mix. So simple, too. It's one of the easiest things you could possibly make. Yeah. Well, look I'm going to add a little, I'm going to add a little, <laughs> add a little more dulce flakes. This was one recipe that we actually was able to get those on there. We were able to remember and capture because Lou over here is always getting on me for not writing recipes down, just oh. freestyling stuff. And then so Blueberry Cafe um, follows the Dr. Sebi diet, right? Yes. yes. Now, for those of us who are not familiar with the Dr. Sebi diet, could you tell us what that entails? Yeah. Well, Dr. Sebi, right. about 30 years ago, mm -hmm. brought to the community and to the world about differences in people and the food, mm -hmm. and the type of food that was being consumed, especially by the African diaspora. And so he came to realize that the differences in people is just like animals. Like the gorilla doesn't eat the food of the polar bear. So that was one of his mantra that he would always say. And when you look at the two difference in the animals and the, the, the diet, you would see that it's needed for both. One would eat leaves. Right. and fruits, and one would eat fish. If you switch those diets, they will die. It's the same thing that is happening with the communities today. We all eat them outside of what we was designed to eat. So, and then you're talking about electric foods. Electric body, electric foods. And if your food has no electricity, then you're not being charged. It's like a phone. You put it in a dead socket. You can leave it there for a whole week. That is why people are tired, because the, the food they're eating is actually feeding their tummies, their bellies, oh, okay. but not their cells. The cells yeah. If your cells not getting food, they're going to be tired. And basically that's what it is. And everybody is consuming starch and blood, blood and starch, all the time, all day, every day. I read on your website that the vegan diet detoxifies the body. How yeah. so? Yes. Well, this type of vegan diet right. would detoxify So how so? Well... Once again, like he said, you're feeding your cells. Mm -hmm. So now your body's receiving the nutrition, it's gonna start ridding the fat. Okay. It's gonna start pushing out the things that are not beneficial to it. Yeah. Because when you have like the belly and you have like the extra flab and all those things, it's just stored up fat. And you got the aches and the pains because your body's just storing these 
things up that are not natural. Mm -hmm. So once you start eating this way, you'll be going to the bathroom, yep. you'll be doing all types okay. of stuff, you'll feel a difference and you'll be more energized. Now you process. both have been vegan for a long time? Yeah, well, yeah. me, my, my life. But here at Blueberry Cafe, so you offer vegan, um, di uh, vegan food as well as gluten free? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, perfect. we do gluten free as well. So now what's going on over here? Okay, so it looks mm -hmm. like we're done. Pretty nice. much, I might add the rest of this mayo to yeah. it. Yeah, get all that moist. Oh, that looks good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So it kind of looks like mayo, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's just walk some pumpkin seeds. Looks like the consistency too, yeah. Some days. So what did you add in? The peppers, the onions? Yeah, I added the red mm -hmm. peppers, I mean the green peppers and the red onions. Chopped and diced, that's gonna give it the salad, you know, tuna salad effect. Is this one of your uh, most popular dishes here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We usually do it on Wednesdays, so. It's very popular. <laughs> Uh, how has the community reacted to Blueberry Cafe? It's amazing. Yeah? They, they, they appreciate it. You know, in the beginning, you know, you have naysayers that say, that's not going to work. Right. Smack that in the in hood. <laughs> yeah. Urban area. Like, right. no one's going to accept the prices. No one's going to just want vegan food. And then, being that we don't do soy, and, you know, most, no disrespect to vegan restaurants, but most vegan restaurants, they cook soy and tempeh and mm -hmm. all those unhealthy um, vegan dishes, we took a risk stepping out and not doing anything like that. So like our burgers and everything that we use, making it from the quinoa mm -hmm. and all those things like that. So, But they, they've been very receptive. Yeah? Very receptive. Mm -hmm. well, did you always think about opening up this business in Newark? Oh, just, maybe not just in Newark, but just always wanted yeah. to open it, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, do you find that children are also, you know, liking yeah, this blueberry yeah. cafe? Really? Especially yeah, sometimes tuna. it's tricky yeah. to get the kids, you know, to try to eat healthy. Yeah. Okay. No, they love the tacos. They love the tuna. They love the spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah. They love the pitas. They, yeah, they love, yeah, they, they love the it. Soups. Yeah. They love the soup. Too. Yeah, the soup. Yep. The muffins. <laughs> and I'm thinking you're encouraging them and teaching them to like healthy food with your smoothie day. Yes. Right? Yes, okay. yes. 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 Yeah. Smoothie day was great because it was, you know, gave us the opportunity to open it up to the community where, you know, some parents may feel like they don't want to come inside, you know, maybe they feel like it would be too expensive or something like that, so we just wanted to introduce it. So what exactly is it that you do? You go outside and you mm -hmm. just give out free smoothies? Yep, set the table the up out there, yep, okay. and put some music out there and balloons and they just come on over. Do a lot of Facebook, Instagram promotion and they come on out. Yep, so this is looking fantastic. Yep. So this is a. Um, so what is this? This is coconut vinegar. Okay. So the vinegar is derived from actually a coconut. Okay. And this is olive oil. So this is our version of that. oil and vinegar. Yep. So we're gonna cook that. No, I'm gonna turn it that way. How much are you putting in there? No, we're gonna put it on the sandwich oh, as it. a dressing. Yep. So you ready for your taste? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Because we're all done. <laughs> let's do it. You guys have to taste it with me too. I got a nice little corn chip. Yep. A gluten-free corn chip. Thank you so much. And I'll wait for you. And then we would just cloth. dress this up on toast. Okay. Move one plate. I could do a small corn chip. You can take one. Right. Yeah, I just want to show them how we dress it. Yeah. So we're going to... Yep. That's Emmanuel for a knife. So every day, I guess you have something different here. That yeah, you serve. we we, okay. we you special. Have one item that you serve, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Put a little bit of lettuce. lettuce. And this okay. is romaine lettuce, specifically. Is that more nutritious? Yeah. Yeah. You actually, get nutritional benefit, unlike iceberg lettuce or yeah. something like that. Yeah, or the green leaf lettuce we use. Yep. Tomato. If you like avocado, I like to put love olives, avocado, avocado, love yes. avocado on everything. So how about we put a little piece on yours? You should. Let's see. Let's cut her a little piece. Oh, for her arm. Mm-hmm. 
got a little piece. Yep. Great. A little Just that one. Yep. coconut vinegar. It's set. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Cut that baby up. Let me pass along the napkins here. Thank you. You said you wanted yours on a chip? Yeah. Okay. He wants a chip. <laughs> I mean, since it is lunchtime, I'm going to go ahead and take a big old bite. All right, All right cheers. You cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Vegan <laughs> tuna. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. It tastes like the seaweed. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It yep. feels like I'm tasting mayo. Like I'm it feels mayo. like mayo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very much so. This is really good. <laughs> well, mm. I'm going to have to have another one. <laughs> yeah, hook me up with an avocado. Mm -hmm. I love that avocado. This is so oh, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. So, Rashina, you're also growing your own produce here. Yes. How? Oh, well, we teamed up. We partnered with Better Hoods and Gardens and they have something called aeroponics. It's amazing. You can either grow it outdoors, you can grow it indoors. So, All right, so gonna, show us. Gonna show us. You on I'm going to take my so chip with me. You. Sure. Yep. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, this is Jay. Hi, Jay. And Hi, this nice is to meet Josh. You. Hi, hey, nice, nice to meet you. you. We have Parker. Hi. And our kids here today. Hi, little Parker. <laughs> So yeah, this is how we grow in the city. Um, it's air upon a garden that my company helped produce. And my whole mission is really just to help people inspire healthy living around the world. So I partnered up with Jay. He partnered me up with Shino. And yeah, we, there's a few spaces in the back where we could fit a few of these. And I saw the initiatives that she had with the kids and with her restaurant and the impact on the community. So me and Jay started uh, an initiative called Better Hoods and Gardens. Okay. Really just trying to get urban gardening into these, uh, you know, food deserts and get all natural, fresh produce. And trying to get the kids involved. Trying yes. to get the kids involved. Super easy. Um, I mean, you can see little Parker over Is here. Is little Parker going to demonstrate today? Yeah. So what we're Okay. Gonna, so what do you do? So little Parker, just grab those so the seeds and put them in this right here. Put them in the rock bowl. You got it. Good job, man. And this is the, what, dinosaur kale? Yeah, this is dino kale right here we got. Yeah. So, what is this? dino kale. Okay. We got some uh, lettuce over there that they use, that romaine lettuce. And uh, we have some sweet basil floating around somewhere, but it's really easy. We just get them, get the seeds growing, um, and then plop them in here. And then the tower does the rest of the work, but you can grow it in a three by three space. Now there's no soil in here or anything? No, no soil, all the nutrients are in the base. Oh. Um, yeah, it's really super simple to do. Like all you need is a little bit of sunlight, some space and you can get going, so. And how are the kids reacting to this? Oh, oh my God, it's amazing. They love it. They love the tuna, they love the tacos, they love the spaghetti, these are the soups, everything. Yeah, they, they enjoy it. They, they love the flavor of it all and Little Parker seems to be enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, he's enjoying it, yeah. And, you know, when we did the gardening in the back with the kids, yeah, you know, it was something that. brand new to them, and they, they really took it took to it really well, yeah. I, I know a guy, and he, uh, yeah. he said, kids who grow kale, eat kale. Uh -huh. And that's the biggest thing, is a, bu a bunch of these kids don't know where their food's coming from. Right. And uh, I really just want to help educate as best I can, partner with great people like this, uh, and, you know, get, get, get rid of these food deserts, you know? All right, this is great. Yeah, we, we are excited about this. It's yeah. like, I mean, it's new, it's fresh, it's innovative, and like you said, you even have this indoors, right? Yeah, I have mine inside my apartment. Um, I know people in the Bronx who are doing it, uh, you know, converting old buildings into giant farms. Like, it's a really big initiative, and I'd love to bring it here to Newark and just really, I just love Newark because it's so innovative and everyone's so open to ideas like this, so. So it seems like you're all about the health, mm -hmm. mind, body, soul here. Yes. So talk to us about the wellness workshops we have going on in the community. The wellness workshops? Okay, we yeah. do um, seasonal seasonal workshops. Okay. And um, what they are, they're like eight hour long workshops. 
So we cover like nutrition, meditation, yoga, fitness, we do vision boards. Um, gosh, so much I can't even think of everything else that we do. Um, but it's at, oh, we do credit wellness, financial wellness, um, teaching people how to, you know, get their credit straight. Uh, Gosh, I can't even think no, of everything. No, no, yeah, you're, Natural you're offering hair care. A lot, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you're offering the community something quite unique and special, yeah. actually. That's really yeah. good. Okay. It's all about building them up, you know, inspiring them anyway. And how do people find out about these workshops? Go to Facebook, um, Blueberry, Blueberry Cafe on Facebook. and. Blueberry vegan or, on Instagram. Or you could stop by Blueberry Cafe by. and just come yeah. on and talk to the founder and talk to her partner, <laughs> and then they'll let you know. Absolutely. Right. Yes. Well, thank you so thank much you. for having us today. So yes, thank, thank, you. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.